Hi guys, this is Sai from Cyanide Software. Uh, today we're going to talk about, uh, go over our Disperse plugin. Uh, Disperse is basically a way to um, distribute objects all through your scene, whether you paint them, um, do object replacement, anything like that. So um, simply, it's very simple. You pretty much add whatever objects you want. You go in here, you select whatever objects you want to paint, and you can just paint them anywhere. Now, once you've painted them, they go into the main mesh. Now, we also have uh, ability to go uh, also erase stuff in your scene. Uh, you can selectively erase as well. So if I was to go in and say, I just want to erase tree number three, it'll go in there and selectively erase. And we also have um, directional painting. So if I was to add in a car, let's just add in some of those. I'll go select these three cars and go paint. Now I can paint these in a direction of going down the street. Now, right now the uh, uh, the percentage snap is at 10, but if I snap this to 90 and I go over here, now you'll see it only snaps to a 90 degree angle. And I can actually hold down the control key and lock that as well. So no matter where I move around, I can sort of paint paste my cars on the street and just put those all into one single mesh. Uh, we do also have the object replace tool as well. So if I wanted to say pick um, these bushes and say all right well I want to replace with this individual symbol and also that one and then I can pick my trees here and go replace it with these symbols. Now none of these symbols at all were copies, or sorry, instances. So uh, it goes around and looks for objects that are similar in that. So you can actually turn that off or turn that on. Uh, in the replace tool down here, we have replace similar or only instances, and you can also remove your um, objects as well. So if I wanted to say, replace this symbol again with a tree, I could do that, and it is now replaced it with the tree and got rid of my symbols in the beginning. So that's what the replace is. Uh, we have built-in color correction as well. So when you render this, nice variation in that. Uh, and uh, built into the painter is also a collision. So let's just say, I'm gonna add some people to this. Let's just go in here and we'll just say, give me some nice people. And we can start painting those. Uh, the, the interface will also um, size up depending on what you add to it. You can go ahead and make that smaller, but um, just for convenience, we actually, every time you add an object, it'll do it. Also, to remember anything, if you have nothing selected, it'll erase everything or paint everything. If you have um, selections painted, it'll give you a random between those. Uh, we also have um, distance uh, collisions on as well. So if I was to go paint some people in here, um, I have my collisions on as quite high. But if I go and try and paint this again, I'm not going to get people on top of each other. So I, need to, I would need to turn down my collisions a little more and I can have denser people. But you can see that um, depending on your collisions, it's not going to paint over top of each other. Um, we do also have... Uh, Spline clipping, camera clipping, everything sort of built in like we usually have in our tools. Um, and all our display modes as well. So bounding box, point cloud, original object, uh, however you want to view that. So in a nutshell, it's like I said, it's pretty much a dispersed tool. Um, there's a lot of little features in here that are kind of really useful. Um, if you've already have something and uh, say a client says, hey, you got to swap out that tree. I can simply go over here and say, okay, I want to replace this with this bush. And it's going to go around and replace any of those that I've painted with that bush. I'm also going to, you know, remove items. I want to get rid of just that one. You can, it removes it out of the mesh. So uh, we are building also in here um, that if you add a Sinai proxy, you'll be able to delete the reference object out of the scene. Uh, it'll just stay in here and uh, disperse will go load up the proxy file by itself. So thanks a lot, guys. Check this out and um, let us know on the support forum what you think of it or what objects we can um, add to it. Thanks, guys. See you.